guys, Stitching May or Megan here to do my March video. Today is March the 1st. I had planned to do this video last week, but um, life happened and I didn't get around to it. Um, so here I am in the middle of the night doing a very quick video. I always say quick video, but um, I do have a finish, a new start, and then some haul to show you. I almost, if it had not been up for finishes, I would have gone over my stash budget so I've got some haul to show you and some gifts to show you um just last month I had talked about possibly doing a video every two weeks which would have been last week and of course life happened I've told you before if I ever plan something it's not gonna happen that way um just life I mean I got a lot of stitching done but a lot of crazy stuff happened last month um good stuff and bad stuff um we got countertops installed it's something that we have been wanting to do for a very long time, but had kind of waited and put it off until we found some damage that had to be replaced. So we got countertops a little sooner than we were expecting. And then um, my son had two school events too. He was, um, they did a pre-K like show for the parents. And then he was also in the Follies, which I kind of got um, picked. <laughs> to be um, a co-helper on that. I don't even know. I mean, they had the script and everything that we were going to do, but we kind of, myself and another, another mom had to kind of head things up and schedule the practices, which is not something that I'm that good at. <laughs> but anyway, that went well. We had both of those shows. He did wonderful. He's a little ham. Um, and then he also got student of the month last month for friendship. Very, very proud of that. And then last week was an emotional disaster. Um, a, my husband's uncle passed after a pretty long battle with some several illnesses. And then the day before his memorial service, um, I got a phone call that my best friend, since I was a like little girl, um, her, she's got a four, five month old and, um, her significant other he passed in a very sudden tragic way and it was just just an emo emotional roller coaster but towards the end of the week i got to do get the privilege of going to a get together a georgia stitchers get together and i'll talk more about that towards the end of the video got to meet some new people and see some people that i already knew notice i didn't say i got to see old people none of us are old um anyway <laughs> let me just jump into my stitching and I'll start with my finish first, as you probably all know that it's going to be my March towel. I'm plugging along with these towels. Here is my March towel. I don't think I have a before picture of the towels because they're smaller projects. I don't tend to take pictures. But who am I kidding? I've just recently started taking pictures of my towel, my progress, so. <laughs> or being a little more sufficient at it efficient there that is and I, this one turned out to be really easy i thought that these repetitive shamrocks would get old but it made it really quick i got to where i just kind of knew the pattern and just stitched right through it and it, it went a lot quicker than i thought it would go and it's already back to ready to hang up on my in my kitchen on my little hanger and this is what i'm excited about guys i kind of cheated and I started my April towel um, in February. This is what it will look like when it's finished. And here is the progress that I have done. I'm almost finished. Only have to finish one bird and then do a second bird and then some branches and April will be finished. And I might even go ahead and start my May towel next, maybe even before April. <laughs> because if I can finish, when I finish May, I will have stitched all the towels. I will just need to sti finish stitching January, which I will do more than likely in June for my line and lip piece because that one was just not fun to stitch. Guys, I am so excited about getting these done. I enjoy these projects. Don't get me wrong. I love them. They are all cute. They are all easy projects if you pay attention to what you're doing. Um, 
but they've just been kind of hovering over my head and I feel like I've been giving these too much attention and ignoring some of my other whips for my year of whips. These were all part of my year of whips and each towel was a separate piece so that does help my year of whips you know numbers start coming up but at the same time I'm just I'm just ready for them to be done. I get that way with um sales like the monthly sales like towards the end I'm just done with them and that's one reason I don't do a lot of the the mystery sales because I don't want to feel like I don't know I feel like they become a priority which is okay but I don't always like that feeling so usually I'll let the sow go all the way through and then I'll do it later at my own speed so there that is wow that was a really long tangent and then um in no particular order here are the other pieces my other whips that I worked on I worked on three other whips why do I feel like there was more I don't know okay um first i'm going to show you my mixed berry cheesecake by dinky dyes and here is what it will look like when it's finished and here is what it will look like the last time that i showed it to you this is a um, mini amazing dessert it's a limited edition kit and it has a limited edition fiber um, i just happened upon this kit online on a clearance and purchased it this is stitched on the called for the called for um 18 count sorry no i started doing these tags after the georgia get together it is 14 count bashful ada by picture this plus and it came in the kit this Ada is so soft, guys. And I am using the Kitted Silks with by Dinky Dyes. And there are several different colors. Let me tell you, this piece has been a bit of a bear in the fact that you have to cut off the silks in certain lengths. That way you get this desired effect. That way you're not starting over, starting over. Organic Granny and I, or Lori and I, sat in our hotel room um friday night for at least 30 to 45 minutes <laughs> untangling the limited edition silk that this piece comes with so that i was able to get enough cut to hopefully finish the project um as you can see the purples are what i finished the i finished each of these purple pieces and then started in with these little sections of the mandala um this is what i used for the stitch mania amethyst purple um color a day challenge as well as the um stitch from stash color weekend which was also amethyst purple so there that is the design itself is not hard to stitch using that limited edition floss in the correct order and cutting the right way is is kind of a challenge if you get this kit, I strongly suggest cutting your lengths before you ever start. That way they don't hangle up. Okay, and next on my list to show you is my um, Plum Street Sampler, 12 Days of Christmas. I don't have a picture of this finish that doesn't belong to another stitcher, and I can't show you their pattern because it's the pattern only. So I can show you where I was last. And this is stitched on 32 count with Jolt Lambs wool linen. It's my kind of go-to fabric. And this is where I currently am. Right here. I only have to finish the word ninth day in this block. And my ninth day will be done. And then I will need to stitch my um, seventh and eighth day. The flosses used are, the green is um, DMC4045, and the red is DMC115. And then it's, of course, 310 black by DMC, and I don't remember the gold color. I think it's, I don't even know. It's just a basic gold color. I can figure that out if you want me to, but it's just a solid DMC gold. And this was their sow from, I want to say, 
a year, over a year ago. I think it was they started it the, the just before Christmas of 2016. Sorry, 2015. But there that is. And then my the third piece that I worked on. I'll go ahead and put this up. Sorry for the red one. I don't get this to keep this stuff organized. It won't stay organized. And then whew, the next one that I'll work on, I think, is um, day seven. <clears throat> when I'm ready to move on. And then the next one will be my Mirabilia um, Tree of Hope. And this is what it will look like. My goal for this one was to finish half the right half of the tree over here and then most of that peach flower and I would say that I, I did that. Yeah, I did that. I made it to my goal. Here is where I was before. And this is stitched on the on a silk weaver's 32 count solo die so it does not have a color. And it is stitched as charted with the um, called for colors and BMCs and Karen Water and Lilies. And this is where I am now. I did finish out this side of the tree. And then I got most of this peach flower done. Sorry. About the phone. But I have it on and up just in case we have any more weather alerts. There that is. I absolutely love working on this piece. And um, I definitely want this one to get finished this year. If none of, nothing but my towels and this get finished, I'll be a happy camper. I would love to get 99 bottles done, but I've already, you know, fallen behind on my four bottles and much things. So I don't know that it'll be finished. We'll see. I'm not giving up yet. And then that is it for my progress, which is good for me because I've had months where I've only stitched on one thing and didn't get a finish. So I got to finish a new start and I stitched on three of my, they're all your whip, whips, um, pieces. So, um, I guess let me go next to like kind of my city plans for next month because I know some of you guys don't enjoy a haul. So let's see here. As far as your whips go. As an update, that means that I have finished two, three, four, five of my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, five of my 15 whips. So I'm a third of the way done. Um, and my son just woke up. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> Um, as I was saying, that makes me have 15 or five of my 15 year of whips, challenges, pieces, whatever, complete. Um, and then as far as next month, um, in the Stitch from Stash group, it's M for Mirabilia. So I'll be working on, or this month rather, um, I'll be working on my Tree of Hope by Mirabilia. It's also full coverage month in so full stitching. So I will try to work on my Starry Night on um, some this month at some point. Just even if I put 10 stitches in it to where I can stay hour to my full coverage piece. Um, full coverage on a fifth on the 5th for Stitch Mania. It happens on a day that I work. So I won't be able to work on that piece. Um, I'll be doing the Color of Day Challenge, which is Aquamarine, which I will be working on. My Mirabilia, Tree of Hope, because it's got aquamarine and turquoise in it. And then my Sensational Spring. Guess which one I'll be working on. I'm going to really be focusing on my Tree of Hope next month. Um, I know I won't get it finished next month. That's not a goal, but I want to get on through it and get some more done on it. Because I'm really loving that piece. And then that's really all of the um, sows that I'm planning to take part in. I am not starting any new ones with not do my sows. I'm trying to just... Um, stitch work the pieces I'm already working on into the sows because I've got way too many whips way too many whips I think I still have 13 whips going um, and then I am part of the stitch from stash group and as far as my budget goes um, I almost went over I started this month with a four dollar carryover and then my budget is $25 so that let me start off February with $29 and I spent $4.45, I'm sorry, $40.45. Yeah, it's always $5, right? Isn't that what Tracy P says? Um, 
I purchased a lot of items at the um, the get together that we had, and then I did purchase that one skein of DMC floss. Guys, I was doing so good. I was doing so good. I'd only bought one DMC floss, and that was it. And then um, Dames of the Needle came to our Georgia Stitch get together, and then um, she brought some of her items to um, with her, and we were able to shop her items, and I spent $40. Huh. So, um, which was what I had budgeted, and I did well. I stuck to my budget, um, which then left me, but then I finished my March towel, and then the teaching of work, teaching is a work of heart, which I showed you in the last video, which credited me $15. So I ended up with a $3.55 rollover and then I'll add my $25 for this month. So I'm still to the good. I'm still in the, you know, in the black or is that in the green, whatever. I'm not in the red. I know that much. And then I did purchase a um, Paco needle organizer thanks to Dina from Making Life Count. She enabled me to get that, but I used a gift card, my Christmas gift card from Amazon and purchased that. But that's really everything as far as my sales and groups go so i will go into the haul so if you don't like haul feel free to click off and thanks for watching thus far for those of you like me who enjoy haul i have some haul and some gifts to show you i have already mentioned the paco needle organizer that i purchased again um dina showed how she used this for her projects and i think i'm gonna use this for 99 bottles because one of my I have a love-hate relationship with, gosh, floss, tube, itchy nose. I have a love-hate relationship with 99 bottles. It's a beautiful piece. It's an easy piece. The bottles go quick. However, I'm forever changing out my needle because I'll, it, it's not one you can park on because there's so much space between the colors. You'd be carrying, you know, you may stitch a color on one bottle and not stitch again for four bottles or, on the, or to another shelf. Um... And so parking is our option. I don't do parking anyway, but I'm forever like threading my needle, stitching like 10 to 15 stitches and then threading it and then stitching five and then threading it and stitching four. So she showed how she used this and what she does is she just numbers like that color, that piece has let's say 20, 20 colors. I would number each color and not necessarily like the number, just one through 20 here. And then I would put a needle in each thing with a color on it. She explains it so much better in her video. Um, I will try to remember to link that below. I'm horrible at doing that. To show you the video where she explains um, how she uses her Peco and it made a lot of sense to me. So I'm gonna try this and see how it works. The next time I work on 99 bottles. And then um, I got a gift from the lovely Cindy. Um, some of you who follow me on Facebook know that there was a situation last month that my son has this little stuffed animal that we want in one of those crane machines at like Walmart or one of the grocery stores. It's like a 25 cent crane machine that you got two tries on it. And all of all times, I actually won, or my sister won, I don't remember, a lamb and this little Tennessee orange football guy. And um, when he started Brick A, that is what we took. He named him Peekaboo because the toy brand is Peekaboo. He saw the tag and he wanted to know what the tag said. I, he's sleeping with him now, I would show you him. But, um, and that's what we sent the pre-K thinking that it wasn't that important. If it got lost, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It got lost. <laughs> and it was missing for three or four days. And he was so, so very upset. And um, so I had posted about it on Facebook because I had found the company and found the animal. It was going to cost like $25 to replace it and it wasn't worth it. And then we found, the teacher found Peekaboo. <laughs> so anyway, the reason I'm telling this really long story is um, Cindy found, uh, she's in the Cross Stitch and Discuss group, I know for sure. That's where I know her mainly from. I think she's in some of the other groups as well. But she messaged me and she found Peekaboo's sister um, up where she lives. And she sent us Peekaboo's sister, 
who is now affectionately called Peekaboo Polly. And so he has two of them, and I think they are both in the bed with him right now. But anyway, along with that, she also sent me some stitchy items. I was very blessed. I was very excited. Um, she sent me this beautiful DMC, or um, DMC, Mill Hill Spring Bouquet a counted glass bead ornament kit. It's a little Easter bunny. And if I'm looking at this correct, this is all beads, nothing but beads. And um, I almost want to start this and stitch this for Easter. I don't know where I would put it because I don't have an ornament tree yet, nor do I have a dough bowl, which I'm looking for. But um, it's very pretty, very cute, and I'm itching to do some beading. So this may end up being a start next month. We'll see, or this month. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then this may be part of my spring piece. Because it's a bunny. And bunnies are wonderful. And then she sent me some wonderful DMC as well. Some very pretty springy colors. She sent me this beautiful, beautiful opalescent blue Ada. It looks like it's 18 count. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see the variation, variegation on that or not. Let me do this and see if it helps show the color. It's so pretty. It was a lovely kind of turquoisey color. No clue what I'll stitch on this, but I'm not going to complain about extra fabric ever. And then she also sent me some waist canvas, which I've been wanting to try. And so this looks like it's 14 count Ada, just some pretty, so soft. Like it's not the normal stiff Ada that everybody, that you hear a lot of people complaining about. It looks like it's probably 14 count. I can't tell by looking though. But it's so soft. It doesn't have that really stiff. It almost like has a softness of linen, but it's Ada. This would be great for some, um, for some ornaments and stuff, so we'll see. I forgot to show you my son's project. He wanted to learn how to stitch, so I got him some plastic canvas. I'll have to, maybe he will show you his project next video. And then she sent me some various magazines. This is a um, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, Crafts August of 1992. There's some really cute patterns that I can't really show you because it's, it's missing the cover. I don't want to show you any of the patterns, which I think I was anyway. And this beautiful patriotic one, Cross, cross Quick, um, of, is the premier issue. So but it's really pretty. Let's see, there's a date on it. But I love that. Um, no date. But I love this. I love that patriotic piece. It's really pretty. And then she sent me the Woodland Santas by Prairie Schooler. Look at these, they're so pretty. I love this one with the horse and sleigh. And then I love the one with the reindeer too, where he's got the reindeer. It looks like a leash, I'm sure it's a bridle. <laughs> and then she sent me Witches Stitch 2 by Home Spun Elegance Limited. And this will be part of my Dark October stitching. Isn't that pretty? Look, it's print and she's stitching. It's a cross stitch witch. How perfect is that? And then there's a sow. I don't know when it is, but it's in Stitch Mania and it's a cross stitch theme piece. So that's when I'll work on this. I will have a new start for Stitch Mania. That'll cover two sows that I want to do. And then I was also gifted by my friend Kelly, um, who we get together. We're supposed to get together this Friday in Stitch. She finished this up, so she passed the stash to me. It is a home sweet home. It's called Daisy Lane Cottage by a Little House in the Works. It's got a blue house, matches my kitchen, and it's daisies, which match my kitchen. So that'll be perfect. I will finish this and hang this up somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I will soon. That's going to be another soon one. And then at the um, actual get-together we had, I got to meet the Evergreen Needle. And I got to meet, who else was new? God, there were so many new people. I don't know if they all want to be named. Of course, Elizabeth from Dames of the Needle. Um, I don't know if everyone wants to be named or not. So I'm not going to mention everybody. But they were 
at least four, four new people. Actually, the funny thing is, is um, one of the workers was there and she came back and she realized we were cross stitching and she cross stitched. So when she clocked out, she sat down and clock and stitched with us. I got to stitch with Eclectic Possessions or Emily, Dina and Dina, of course, Organic Granny and the Lovely Gay. We had, I think there were like 12 of us and we had so much fun. We laughed so hard. We went to dinner that night, laughed hard there, which people were turning and looking at us and we didn't care. Um, but, um, the Evergreen Needle bought, brought some of her stash to for us to look through. We had not officially found out if we were okay to trade stash that way because one of the rules at Joanne's is they don't want anybody to sell anything. So we didn't know if trading stash counted. We found out though that as long as it's not something they sell that we can, we can trade stash there. We had kind of joked about trading stash out in the car. But then we thought that might get us some weird looks. You know, hey, come look at this stash I have in my trunk. <laughs> you know, I can see it now. Floss tubers jailed. Um, but anyway, um, she had some stuff that she brought in. And this was one of the patterns that I got. I kind of waited to the end to make sure everybody got to look through it. But I love this. This is so me. This beautiful peacock. It's so pretty. Look at those vibrant colors. And then she had this. Also, she had where did my piece go? Where did my piece of cardboard? Mm -hmm. She had this beautiful Karen water lilies. It is called Highland Mist. Look at the colors of that. It kind of reminds me of a baby sampler, but I love the pinks and the greens and the blues. So not a dark blue. It's almost a minty gray blue in there too. Don't know if you're getting all those colors or not. It's so pretty. And then my haul. So I purchased the one skein of like 9.45 DNC, and that was to go with my 99 bottles. And then I found this. This doesn't count towards my stitch stash budget because it's it's more finishing. But I want to eventually do um, a dough bowl or a bread bowl. And I want to do a patriotic piece, like a little pillow. So they have this finishing fabric at my local Goodwill for $1.91. And then that day it was half price. So I paid, what, 80, 80 some odd cents, 90 some odd cents. Something like that. I don't know. For all these. And these are large pieces of fabric. Like every piece is, I'll show you with this one. Every piece is this size. So this is the first print. It's little Liberty Bells and scrolls. Folding and fabric has never been my forte. Ask Lori. And then there is this pretty burgundy that says different words. It says, um, I'll put it right side up for you. It says freedom, justice, honor, and liberty. And again, it's got little, little, little Liberty Bells. And then, this is probably one of my favorite ones. It's got little flags. It's got a little home on there, two houses, red, white, and blue. It's got all kind of different little motifs on there. And then, I think Lori is probably laughing at me right now, if she's watching this video. In this blue background with these stitched red stars. And then this, it almost looks denim, but it's not real denim with blue and red stars. So those are very appropriate for little, little pillows, for ornament pillows. And then I got from Dames of the Needle. This is a, I think it's a quarter yard. I'm never good on fabric sizes. But this is a 32 count Weeks Dye Works and it's called Straw. That is a beautiful color. I might even, ooh. I may do that witches on that color. Ooh. See, I already getting ideas for this piece. But Kelly had her 
fabric labeled like this at the get together and I know Jennifer Apicado had done that before. She was also a floss cheaper. She's no longer doing videos right now. But once I saw it in person, I started doing the same thing. So when I broke out my sewing machine to zigzag this fabric, I added on a tag. That way I remembered, we'll remember what it is in the count later. And then I got a bunch of floss. Some of these are specific for a project that I eventually want to do. Um, I showed you the um, every season is by my big toe designs. I'm slowly buying all the weeks to do that project in. And then some of these are just because I want to say that this these three are for that specific piece. So I'll show you these first. I'm not going to show you each one at a time. This is Week's Dye Works Palomino, um, Rum Raisin, and Eggplant. And that is for a specific project. This is the Palomino, the middle one is Rum Raisin, and this other one is Eggplant. But those are those colors. And then these other ones were just because, because they were pretty. I'm hoping to work them into my, um, the New Beginnings by Abby Lane Designs that I'm doing a stitch along with Melody Stitches with. with. Um, so I just got some random colors that I thought possibly would look good with those. One of them I think is actually called for, and that's Michael's Navy. Oops, I've got enough. I'll do it this way. Sorry, I'm trying to get these so I don't just hold up one skein at a time because I know I'll do that. I'll just do three at a time. So the first three, I'm gonna do three at a time. Um, this one is Honeycomb by Classic Color Works, Manor Red by Classic Color Works, and then um, Cranberry by the General Arts and Threads. There are those three. I love this red and then Gay liked this red so she picked that one out for me and then because it's kind of autumnal colors then I got um, French Lilac by the General Arts a Golden Star by Classic Color Works Peacock by The Gentle Arts because turquoise is my favorite. And then Michael's Navy by Week Style Works. And I think this Michael's Navy is actually called for in that piece. Um, this is the Lilac. This is the Golden Star. French Lilac, Golden Star, Peacock, obviously, and then the Michael's Navy. A lot, a lot of pretty flosses. And then I got a pattern, another one that I'm going to do for Darktober stitching. And it's called Moonlight Witch. And they also have a Starry Night Witch as well. So, but this is actually charted by Dames of the Needle. It doesn't have a, um, you can, she's got an Etsy shop and she has a Facebook shop. And you can get some of her stuff on 123 Stitch too. I don't think her fabric is on 123 Stitch, just her patterns. But there that is. It's so pretty. It's stitched on um, carrot, 30 Count Carrot by Week Style Work. Week Style Works. And it's stitched in Onyx, but I'll probably use just DM3, DMC 310. But that is everything for now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. A lot of stuff to show you. Sorry for the interruption. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for commenting and subscribing. I'm trying to be better about commenting back to the comments. Um, I did have some questions last time about the um, wash the fusible interfacing or fusible backing being ironable what is it called anyway the stuff i back my towels with being washable and somebody else had actually answered that question and it is washable um of course like on gentle and that kind of stuff which is how i would wash that piece anyway 
But that's really the only question I had. So if you have any questions, feel free to list them below and I'll try to answer them. Um, if they are a question I get a lot, I'll try to answer in the video. And then if not, I'll try to answer the comment itself. But as always, thanks for watching.